And a school board volunteer is among the dozens busted in a prostitution sting. What the sheriff is saying about him and the other married men arrested in this latest undercover operation. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Brendan McLaughlin. A former Orlando police officer and a Polk County school board volunteer are among nearly 100 people arrested in an undercover prostitution sting. Deputies say they all responded to fake online ads. Let's get right to our Jacqueline Inglace in Winter Haven for the latest on this. Jacqueline? Well, go ahead and take a look at this. It's a list of all the people arrested along with their photographs. So many of them. This pamphlet is almost as thick as a book, and deputies tell me the only reason it's not thicker right now, they had to wrap up the sting. You're looking at Deanna Elliman negotiating with undercover Polk County deputies for sex in exchange for $300 cash. Instead of brokering the deal herself, you can hear Elliman ask for her brother to come in and help. It's okay, I have a deputies say Elliman's brother, John Alexander, is her pimp and left a one-year-old and five-year-old in an unlocked car to make the deal. When we looked at John Alexander's Facebook page, he listed his work as trying to stay out of jail. So much for that. Elliman and Alexander are among 98 people arrested in a four-day undercover prostitution sting dubbed When Will You Learn? Of those arrested, former Orlando PD officer Michael Johnson. Deputies say he was trying to create a little black book of prostitutes he could put to work. He was looking to be a pimp. And this man, Polk County School Board volunteer Frank Portlock. Here he is on tape. I'm Frank, by the way. Frank. The, um, Desi. Portlock has something in common with at least 24 others arrested. He's married. Their wives are victims. And also, they're going to be exposed potentially to all kinds of diseases. Deputies say they placed ads online, even drawing in a prostitute who reportedly admitted having hepatitis. Detectives believe they also rescued at least three human trafficking victims during the sting. One, a 15-year-old runaway from Miami. They're forced into in this indentured servitude. They don't have a choice. Right now, the children that were left behind in that car, along with that 15-year-old runaway, are in protective custody. As for Portlock, we learned that he served as a mentor to children at Albert Elementary School. District leaders told me just about an hour ago that he's now suspended pending the outcome of this investigation. We're live in Polk County. Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News.